guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I have a feeling that some people who are not in the planner community may end up stumbling upon this video at some point. Um, and if that's the case, welcome. But <laughs> this is normally a planning and like arts and crafts kind of channel. But today I wanted to talk about um, something that my friend Scarlett from Sweet Southern Planning asked me about and she asked me you know how do you make your YouTube thumbnails because I I'm pretty proud of my thumbnails I like them I mean they're not the greatest but I think they're good I like them so and she asked she said you like them and she wanted to know how I made them so I wanted to share with you guys so first you're going to start by going to canva.com c-a-n-v-a and you can get started for free there is a free you know canva is Free. There is a Canva Pro, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but to make YouTube thumbnails, you do not need Canva Pro. You can just use the free version and you'll be good. So in order to create a thumbnail, now you'll see here, this is the kind of landing page once you have created a account uh, on Canva. And you'll see here it has recommended and then just different categories, social media, and you will, you know, you can kind of scroll over and you'll see all different things and you will come across YouTube thumbnail. Another way to get to that is to go up here in the search bar and type YouTube thumbnail and it will come right up and I can't type, but you get the point. So we're just going to click on that and you will see that there are a lot of templates already here for you. So if you don't want to put a lot of work into your thumbnails and that's okay, if you want it to just be simple something where you know they've done most of the work and you're just going to kind of let's let's use this one as an example maybe you really like these colors you like the font and the way the pictures are but you just want to replace the the images and the text and download and go here's an example of how to do that so the great thing about canva is that you can upload your own images and you'll see i have some in here that i have used for previous thumbnails so i'm just going to use some i've already uploaded but you can, you'll just go here to upload media and you can choose images, uh, videos. See here, there's videos I've uploaded, um, audio, but we're just gonna choose something I've already uploaded and you can just drag it right into the frame. To change out these images, you don't need to like erase this frame and add a new one and you can just drag the photo right over. And that makes it really easy, really quick. And you can see here, you can see there's kind of a filter applied to this just from the way this template was set up. If you don't like that filter, you can go up here to filter and hit none. It says that there wasn't one, but you can see there was. Sometimes that's kind of a glitch. It'll say, oh, there's no filter, but there clearly is. So you can just go hit none, kind of reset that. You can go here to adjust and you know, change how it looks. You can change the saturation, change the tint, do whatever you want to it. You can also go to effects. And this is where I wanted to talk a little bit about Canva Pro and something that can be really uh, beneficial, and that is the background remover. And I will show you, I do have a Canva Pro account um, that I will switch to in a minute for those of you who are interested in Canva Pro and how it works. But the, the biggest thing for me and the reason I always end up switching back to Canva Pro when I'm making my thumbnails, not always, but often, is for this background remover because while I do have Photoshop and I know how to cut out backgrounds, this is so quick and just seamless. And since I'm already making my thumbnail in Canva, it just makes it so much easier to just do it right here, click the button and it's done. Uh, it, for me, it's all about you know getting things done quickly because like most of you, I'm sure, you don't have all day to sit around making YouTube thumbnails. So it can just really help you out. But that aside, if you're not worried about cutting out backgrounds and you just want to have your images here, there are several um, there are several effects that you can use that these are available on the, the free version. I really like these glitch ones. I think they're really interesting uh, in certain contexts. They can be, you know, they can really work well for what you're doing. You can just hit undo, control Z, or just hit the undo up here. Now, something to be aware of with Canva, you'll see here, and they, they almost snuck this one past me. As I hover over this, it says remove watermarks. Not everything is free in Canva. 
some of the photos that you're going to find. Uh, it will say you have to pay like a dollar or whatever to use the photo. This, when I go to download it, I'll just go ahead and show you. When I go to download it, it says, you know, there's one premium image. You can download a watermarked draft. So you'll see here. There is a watermark. You can see the little lines on the dots. It's very hard to see in this particular instance. So it's totally up to you what you want to do. But something you can always do is go here into elements. And if you want dots, maybe you could just find, see this one says it's free. And you'll see as you hover over, it'll say if it's pro. Free, free. So this is the one that they use. So you know, it's totally up to you, but just something to, to be aware of. Um, not everything in Canva is free. So you could always replace it with something like this. And this, you can change the color. So I would be totally happy with that rather than paying for this image. And you can copy, paste, control C and control V. And you can just resize it, move it around, kind of get it how you want. And then as far as the text, you can just click right there in the box and replace it. Plan with me. Just an example. Now I'm going to go back here and go to some of the thumbnails that I've created, like legitimate ones, not the one I just created as an example. This is one that I did. Now these I, for the MCR B6TN project, I used the same template for each video because it was all in like one series and I wanted to keep it consistent as far as, you know, the thumbnails for that series. I wanted them to all be very similar. So I just duplicated this. So what you can do here is at the top, you'll see duplicate page and you can just copy the whole page and replace things. So you'll see as we scroll down, I changed the background. It's kind of blurred out. I made it, you know, blurred out, but it's still, you can see, you know, it's legible. And same thing here. I just kind of took what I already had and just kind of uh, changed it up. Now this one, I did not use an image for, and that's something I wanted to point out is that you do not have to use your own images to make a thumbnail. Obviously that would be preferable in most instances. Obviously that would be preferable in most instances uh, to, you know, to use your own images. But for something like this, this really worked out. I just used the digitals from the uh, Honey Bee Shop Babe Box. When you are a Babe Box subscriber, you get access to the digital file. So I just uploaded them, kind of moved them around and created my own thumbnail that way. So that's another option. This here, I just, you know, again, I didn't have to cut out any backgrounds or move over to my pro account or anything. I just had to choose a template and I can change the transparency on this. I went over here to elements and just searched for a Christmas tree and snowflakes and you can change the colors and I uploaded an image that was a screenshot from my video and that's what I wanted to point out and show you how to do at least on a PC using Windows. This is how I get these images like this image here. These are all screen grabs from videos that I had edited. Again screen grab, screen grab. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go here to one of my videos that is complete. I'm going to open this up. Now my default program to uh, play videos is this movies and TV program. So it, again, it's called movies and TV. You'll see this little icon down here is what it looks like. And I found that the easiest way to get a screenshot from your video is just to go here down to this little pencil, click edit in photos and click save photo from video. And this just makes it really easy. You drag the bar and you find where you want to take your screen grab. <laughs> Love how SpongeBob is in there. So we're just going to pick, maybe we want to show off this. Okay. And when you're ready to do that, you'll just go up here to save a photo. And then save. All right, so then you'll see here that it saved the moment from the video. It's what it defaults to, calls it a moment when you take that uh, screen grab from your video. 
and you will see that there is motion. It captures just a little bit of motion, but it is a JPEG file. You don't have to worry about it. When you upload it, it will just be a still image. And then you'll go into Canva. You'll see here under my uploads, this is where I've uploaded a bunch and that's how I grab them. Uh, it just seems to be the easiest, quickest way to get it done. And so what I do is I have, you'll see here, I have this one document where I keep everything. And I, I like to have everything kind of in one spot. So this is where I have the you know current thumbnails I'm working with because sometimes I like to go back, like I really like this design. So maybe in the future, I wanna go and reuse it so I can just duplicate this page, change the image, change the color of this here and change the text and just kind of reuse that design. Same with this, same with these. This I obviously won't use again, but I wanted to just keep it here just to remind me to use the digitals from the bait box because sometimes I forget to use them and they are good for making thumbnails. And then these, you know, I very often I will uh, duplicate the page and then just kind of change this around. Something else I wanted to point out is the text. You'll see how this text is kind of like neon, has that neon effect. Something that Canva added relatively recently is text effects. So you can highlight this text and go to effects. And you'll see here, and again, this is the free version of Canva, so you don't need Pro to do this. And I have it on neon and it has intensity. So you can just kind of change how intense you want that neon effect to be. It's really cool. You can change the color if you wanted, I don't know, green. There's neon green. It's really, really cool. This curve one is very new and I love it. I haven't had a chance to utilize it, but it's so cool. You also have shadow. Oh my God, that was something that for a long time, I was like, Canva, please add shadows in because the workaround is to take the text layer, copy it, move it behind and kind of force it to make a shadow. I'm so glad they have an actual shadow in here. So it defaults to using the same color as your text. I usually end up changing it to black, upping the transparency. You can kind of, you know, blur it out if you would like, just depending on the effect that you want. You can move the direction of the shadow. You can change how far it is from the text, like how far away that shadow is. It's, it's such a great tool. There's lift, which is basically a blurred out shadow. There's hollow splice which kind of hollows it out and also like you see hollow here and then splice kind of fills it in there's echo i mean it's just so like it's just a really great tool to have and it makes it so easy to keep your thumbnails looking you know eye-catching they look professional they look just good just pleasing to the eye and it's so simple to do and the amount of fonts that they have is really impressive as well. And you can see here, these are the ones at the top that I use the most often. So that's why they're there. And there are premium fonts. So be sure to uh, keep your eye on that. These ones with the little crowns, you have to have a Canva Pro account to use, but there's plenty of free ones to utilize. So, but just keep that in mind. Some of them, you uh, do need a Pro account to utilize. So that is how I create my thumbnails. Now, something you may be wondering is, you know, I have all these different layouts on one document here. And what I do is, so I kind of scroll through, like this is my process. I scroll through my kind of master list here of uh, layouts and I decide if I want to use any of them, you know, duplicate them and kind of change them up a little bit or if I want to start completely from scratch. If I want to start from scratch, I just go right down here to add a page and then I go on the left to templates. And this is where you can click, just get click happy and just change the layout and the theme. And it's super easy to do and you can completely change this up. But sometimes it's good to just have a starting point. Starting with a blank document sometimes can be overwhelming. So to just start with something simple like this, it can really help give you motivation to uh, create your design. And that's kind of how I started with this. It was just a uh, plain background and it had just this frame. And I knew that, okay, I wanna put that, that picture in that little Polaroid frame. 
and I want to change it to polka dots. Like it just kind of gives you a starting point, a jumping off point. So that is one of my favorite features is being able to do this. And something else you can do is on a page where you've already created a layout, you can change the layout and you see it carries over the, uh, the text that you had. So that can be very, uh, very helpful as well, but that's how I do that. Now I do wanna briefly show you just in case you were interested in Canva Pro, how you can do that cut out background thing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty impressive. All right, so I've switched over to my Pro account. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cut the background out of your image. So I'm just gonna create a new page here and we're just gonna click on any one of these that has an image just to make it easier. Let's do this. So this was a screen grab from my Ask Me Anything video. And I had a virtual background on Zoom. I'm gonna go here to Effects, Background Remover. That's it. Are you, are you impressed? Cause you should be. I mean, that, that took what? five seconds. It is such a time saver. Again, I know how to do it in Photoshop. Number one, not everyone has access to Photoshop or a similar program. Two, it is such a time saver. And that's, that's the biggest thing for me. It's the reason why I started using it. And they do have where you can erase or restore because sometimes it's going to make mistakes. It's not perfect, right? So you could go in, say I wanted to bring back like a little bit of it for some reason you can you can do that as well so that is an option but i just wanted to quickly show you how to do that and show you how <laughs> how quick it is i mean it's really amazing i remember when they came out with it and the first time i used it i was like just completely blown away i couldn't believe it so that is a great benefit of having canva pro right, i'm back on my uh free account so i can show you so you can, it says pay for one, get four free, invite four people to team up with you on Canva Pro for free. And, you know, we can see how much it actually costs. So, you know, you do get a 30 day free trial. Again, I swear to God, this is not sponsored. I just, just in case you're interested in Canva Pro, wanted to kind of show you how much. So you can pay, you can do the yearly and just pay you know, 120 bucks for the whole year, or you can pay $12.95 a month. And that is a huge benefit in that, you know, you have one pro account and four people can use it. So if you, you know, you have three other people that you work with or who want to use Canva Pro, you know, it's $12.95 a month for one account, but you get four users. So you could split the cost and then it's like dirt cheap for you to have Canva Pro. So I do highly recommend it. If for nothing else, just for that background eraser thing, like it is a game changer. <laughs> it is so great. And that is how I create my thumbnails using Canva. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Scarlett, for asking the question and for inspiring me to create this video. I hope you enjoyed and found it beneficial. Let me know in the comments below if you use Canva and what you use it for. Do you have any tips, tips and tricks? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying Plan This so far. I can't believe we're already on day eight. I feel like December is gonna be over like that. I, I don't know what is happening. I have no concept of time anymore. I really just don't know what is even going on. I can't believe 2020 is almost over. I'm glad it's almost over, but unfortunately things aren't going to magically change when the calendar changes. So I I think at least when we're starting 2021, we're going to be kind of in the same, in the same boat, but we're going to make the most of it. And uh, yeah, I can't believe how fast it's going by. I can't believe this is day eight and I'm really looking forward to the rest of Plan This. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and I will see you guys next time. Bye.